The majority of the deaths that occurred in nursing homes in California occurred in facilities that never should have been operating in the first place. One in four COVID-19 deaths in California were in nursing homes. Advocates say the blame rests on chronic understaffing, poor infection control, weak oversight, and opaque ownership that puts profits over people. Now, lawmakers have released a package of bills that, among other things, would stiffen penalties for nursing home misconduct, expand liability for patient rights violations, and mandate that owners be financially transparent. This to me is our one shot at going big, of doing something comprehensive and sufficiently aggressive. The politics are not in our favor typically. It took this level of outrage to actually build us the political space to move this kind of reform through because these tragedies didn't just start with COVID. But on the heels of that crisis, we're going to try to make things right. State lawmakers sponsoring the bills expect the nursing home industry to lobby hard against the reform package. Assemblyman Reginald Jones Sawyer says it's a fraught strategy. I don't think the nursing home or the nursing facilities want to be in a position where they'll, they'll have, they have to say that they don't want to provide better quality of care for their patients. And so um, I am better warned. I've been battle tested. So uh, I, I'm ready for the fight. A statewide nursing home lobbying group declined comment. Amitha Sharma, KPBS News.